Joining me now is Congresswoman Madeline Dean. She's, she is a former House impeachment manager in Donald Trump's second impeachment for the insurrection. Congresswoman, thank you, as always, for coming to the Sunday show. Um, pretty much every time you've been on, almost every time you've been on, I show what has to be one of the iconic photos from that day, and it's the one of you wearing a gas mask in the House chamber, walking out of the House chamber. Being in the chamber two years later, how did it feel? Well, good morning, and thanks for having me, Jonathan. Uh, it felt uh, surreal and strange. Uh, you know, we started the day marking, as you showed there in your film, marking uh, the second anniversary of that shameful, shameful day in American history on the, the Capitol steps. And I was reflecting of my own trauma from that picture, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, my own worries and fears faded as we stood there and family members came up to the microphone to simply say the name of the five fallen officers. If you saw the last folks who came to the microphone, it was children not tall enough to reach the microphone to call out the name of the officer. Uh, it felt surreal to be on that floor for vote after vote after vote for a failed leader. Uh, and it felt very strange and chilling, frankly, when Matt Gates at one point voted for Donald Trump on January the 6th, voted for Donald Trump mm -hmm. to be Speaker of the House. Of course, that got nowhere. Uh, so he lost huge. Uh, but it was very sad, very strange, and very important that we remember that day. Uh, so I was mm -hmm. glad to be there, and certainly uh, it meant a lot to commemorate it. Shameful that the Republican mm -hmm. conference was too busy on a conference call with a desperate failed leader trying to put together a package in order to win Speaker. Congresswoman, in the lower right corner, people are seeing Air Force One taking the president and first lady to El Paso, Texas, his first visit to the southern border as president of the United States. We have less than a minute left with you, Congresswoman, but I've not been shy about saying that McCarthy's protracted fight over the speaker's gavel with members of his own party was a continuation of that insurrection. Am I wrong? Am I going too far? No, you're not going too far. Uh, it absolutely is uh, proof of how he has failed. He had a chance uh, to lead his conference right after January 6th. He stood and said that the president was responsible, and he then turned to jello, and he couldn't stay with that. I have to tell you, as we were sitting there, I had so many texts from friends back home because so much was on the line, not just the circus of the Republican Party. Obviously, the shining example of the Democrats leading through policies for the people and confident in our leadership. So much was on the line. And somebody texted me, actually, a friend from back home texted me uh, the gospel according to Mark. For what shall it profit a man that he gain the whole world and he lose his soul? That's what we were just witness to. He lost his soul as he went for the whole world and for Speaker McCarthy. It's simply a gavel. Congresswoman Madeline Dean, thank you, as always, for coming to The Sunday Show.